Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells. I'm a senior character artist. In this particular tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at Decimation Master. Uh, this is a T-Rex uh, model that I actually did in about an hour. I was just playing around with it. I never actually finished it. But I think it'll work very nicely for what we want to do for this Decimation Master. Decimation Master is a really handy plugin that will allow you to take something that's in the millions of polygons and drop it down into the hundreds of thousands of polygons. So you can turn around and take it for 3D printing. Uh, you can export it easier and deal with it easier in a, a 3D to retopology program and things of that nature. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look to decimate this particular uh, model. As you can see, we have several different subtools. Uh, if I if I click the little eyeball to to hide everything, if I use my arrow keys, I can actually scroll down through each of the these sub tools. As you can see, there's the tongue, there's the bottom teeth, upper teeth, eyes, and of course the main skin of the T Rex. So the the main skin is what we'll look to work with first. We're going to go ahead and click this button here, duplicate. And I'm going to go ahead and work on just the duplicate, not not the uh, original. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, I've gone ahead. Let me just re redo this for you. Uh, I just redocked that to, to get to the Z the uh, Z plugin decimation master. All you have to do is click on Z plugin and this little icon here, and that moves it all over here. You then get decimation master. Okay, you can just click it. And basically what, it, what it's going to do is it's going to calculate where the details are going to be. Like there's not, obviously not a lot of details down in here, so it's likely you're going to keep a lot more details up here. And depending on how low poly you need it, it will tend to keep almost all of the details, uh, even when you're dropping it rather, actually really, really quite low. As you can see, this particular mesh is 3.699 million, almost 3.7 million. Okay, and the easiest thing to do with this is, this is the percentage of the decimation. Obviously, 100%. Uh, that's our uh, full amount. The polygons renders in thousands, so 3,699,000 is 3.699 million. Okay, so. This re registers in hundreds of thousands. That's what the K is there for. This is how you can actually just decide how much of a percentage, you know, what do you want to drop your model down to? If I go to somewhere about 50%, you're looking at about 1.8 million polygons. If we go to about 25%, you're looking at 937,000 polygons. But I want to go ahead and drop this all the way down. I mean, if we do 10, uh, ten percent, about ten percent. You're looking about three hundred three hundred ninety thousand. But I want to drop this down to like three percent. So let's just get it. Yeah, there we go. Three point five. So that's one hundred thirty thousand polygons. Okay. So basically, all you have to do is is once you've got that and you think you can work with it, well, I'll tell you what. Let's get let's be a little generous for this one. We'll we'll go ahead and call it say. 7.75, so 286,000 polygons. We can do, well, actually, let's go ahead and drop it down. We can do this. I, I sometimes like to be have a, a few extra than what I need, but if I can drop it down, this is 200,000 polygons. I think we'll work just fine with that. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do a, a pre-process current. Now, I could pre-process all of the sub-tools at once, but and then of course I can decimate them all at once but I just want to do this just on the first one so you guys can see it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click the pre-process current and as you can see it says computing please wait it's gonna analyze my mesh and this might take a minute or two while it does it it's calculating where the 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 best way it can turn around and populate or technically repopulate this model where we keep as much of the detail as possible, uh, so so any changes are almost negligible between this model and the 3.699 million poly model. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this while it's thinking, uh, just so it turn, 
you know, while we're waiting, there's no sense just staring at the screen. Uh, and there's not much more to talk about until this is done anyway. Okay, so it, it finished up. Now, nothing seems to have changed, but let's just go ahead and hit the decimate current now. It should go ahead and decimate that pretty quickly. There it did. 208,000 polygons. As you can see, it doesn't look like a whole lot's changed. Let's go ahead and go to our uh, subtools. I'm going to go ahead and click off. Okay, so for 208,000 polygons, that did a great job. Let's do Shift F to take a look at it. Okay, so you see what it did. It can tell with all the detail that it needs to put, make sure it has more polygons in this area. But since there weren't a whole lot of details there, it really created much, much larger polygons. And over here, they even just turned around and created some big polygons and stretched them. But where it counted in the face, it made sure to keep a lot of the polygons there, which is beautiful. So let's go ahead, and I'm just going to use the arrow key, uh, my arrow keys on the keyboard. If I go up to the high resolution model, all right, you can see I'm at 3.699 million polygons. All right, I'm going to arrow key down to the next sub tool, 208,000 polygons. And where's the difference? It's it's negligible. It's incremental. There are a few slight, ever so slight differences in some of the finest details but nothing you'd be able to pick apart and see. Let's go ahead and take a quick gander again. Now this is, again, the 208,000 polygon. And this is the 3.699 million. Look at that. It keeps almost everything. Let, let's look in this spot, right in this eye area. In fact, let's go ahead and zoom in. I want to see, that's the only place I saw actually changing any. So there's 3.6, 3.699 million, and now 208,000. So you can see it gets a little more pixelated, a little more edged, but that's about it. And when you're doing a 3D print of this particular model, or if you were taking this in a 3D program, you, you literally, literally would not be able to tell the difference. Okay, so there you go. That's fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick one with with the eyes they're negligible they're 3800 polygons the teeth they're 396,000 polygons okay now with the teeth the the quickest thing to fix that is just shift d and we can just drop them down to their lowest subdivision that's not a problem we can then go ahead and go to our geometry tab and click the delete higher same with the, the lower teeth, okay? Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, and we'll just go ahead and delete higher. Let's go back up to the eyeballs. They're 3,000 polys. Gee, let's go ahead and make them, well, let's leave them at nine, 964. We're going to go ahead and delete the higher. And then for the tongue, the tongue is 774,000 polygons. Now, this is again one of those where it has enough details, enough things going on that we do want to go ahead and do a quick bake on it or a quick uh, decimate. So let's go ahead and duplicate it. Let's grab the duplicated mesh. And again, the same thing that we did before. Let's go ahead and with this, we're going to drop this way down. We're going to do like 3% because we really aren't going to need much more than that. Let's go ahead and do a pre-process. We'll give it a minute to think. Oh, actually, it's going to do it very quickly. Hold on. It's almost at 100%. And there it is. And let's go ahead and decimate it. OK. All right, so let's scroll up to the, the higher resolution. There's the 774,000 polygon tongue. There is the 27,000 polygon tongue. Okay, almost no difference with that. So, as you can see, we can turn around and drop out the highest resolution models for Decimation, Decimation Master, and the changes are absolutely 
insignificant. You can't tell unless you were zooming in. We're now dealing with a model. If I go ahead and delete the high resolution, let's go ahead and just delete the highest resolution uh, subtools. Okay, so we are now at from we went from a uh, I think it was close to a five million poly model. We're now down to not even a million polygons, and we lost nothing in doing so. That's the joys of Decimation Master. That's fantastic. Okay, anyway, this has been Th Stephen G. Wells for 3dmotive.com. Hope you guys had fun.